Welcome to another weekly edition of our Stay Smart newsletter and podcast, brought to you by Vicinity Corporate Housing, where we try to keep you updated on what we see happening in the news that is relevant to the industry, um, relevant to you and to your company. Um, if there's information that you'd like us to talk about, please let us know. We'd love to include that in our next newsletter. Coming to you from kind of an over, overcast uh, Kansas City today, um, but I'll definitely take this weather over the 100 degree weather we saw earlier this week here. Uh, this newsletter, we have kind of four categories that we're gonna talk about. Um, the first one is the apartment industry. And um, the first article in the apartment industry is around RealPage. Uh, RealPage and, and several landlords uh, are being involved in a class action lawsuit that is stating that these landlords with RealPage's software are indirectly colluding to set rent prices high. Um, we've talked previously on this newsletter about RealPage being involved in lawsuits like this, you know, setting elevated rent prices. Um, this is several state attorney generals are getting involved with this with some, some federal officials to create this class action lawsuit. Be interesting to see how this turns out um, if, we, if they can prove that they are colluding to set these prices. Then the next article is about Amazon. Um, Amazon is investing $1.4 billion to create affordable housing, um, in particular in Seattle, Arlington, and Nashville. Um, so th this $1.4 billion is on top of $2 billion that they invested a couple years ago. Uh, that money went to 21,000 units that are already in process, and this funding is going to um, be for an, uh, another 14,000 units in these markets. Obviously, they've seen you know, everywhere across the country, we've seen affordable housing being an issue, in particular in these markets where we see a lot of these high-tech jobs coming in. We see even more issues with affordability in the apartment industry, and this is Amazon's efforts to combat that. We've also seen Microsoft and, and Meta and um, Elon Musk put money towards affordable housing in this format. Um, it's great. It makes a lot of $3.4 billion over the past couple of years. We'll see what kind of impact it has um, in those markets. And the next category we have kind of just travel news, uh, industry news, um, and the first one being about uh, passports. Um, U.S. State Department just announced recently some kind of on online renewal options. But really what was interesting about this story is that there's going to be six new passport offices, one of them here opening in Kansas City. Um, they're hoping to make the process easier to get passports, to renew your passports. Um, we've talked previously on this newsletter about um, visas and passports, kind of a backlog, uh, the process of getting that. Um, and, and it is, it can be a cumbersome process. I had to get passports for my family and my two kids a couple years ago. Um, and it did take a little bit. It, it would have been much easier to be able to go into the office to do that. Uh, we had to expedite that too, so that it really does increase the cost of this passport. So super excited to see that coming here to Kansas City and uh, five other locations throughout the US. And then there's an article about um, the differences between Airbnb and VRBO. It's a really good story there. And the next category we have is in the uh, about furniture. Um, this is relevant to this industry, I think, because it was when we talked about furniture rental or corporate housing, having to rent furniture or acquire furniture or in relocation, um, people are getting furniture stipends um, or relocating. So really what's interesting about this is um, there's two articles about the cost of furniture, basically from Asia, um, and the cost of those containers have really gone up 60% uh, over the last six or seven weeks um, when shipping from Asia Pacific to North America or to Europe. And the reason behind, there's several reasons behind this, port congestion, increased demand, slower speeds. But what's really driving this cost is traveling through the, the Red Sea, Suez Canal. There's been um, some, some issues there. The Houthi rebels have been attacking container ship as they come around uh, in, through the Red Sea. And so companies are gonna have to, they've been shipping longer routes to go around the Red Sea and that's adding cost. Um, one of the articles is talking about Ashley gonna add surcharges because of the shipping cost. Um, this is definitely going to have kind of a trickle down effect. I think people need to be aware cost of furniture is going to increase, at least here in the short term. Um, and that is going to, you know, co you know, cost of furniture, furniture rental, corporate housing, that's all going to be affected by the shipping cost in these articles. So it's really important information that I think people need to, to be looking at. 
And then finally we have news about in the corporate housing, the short-term rental space. Uh, there's an article about Sonder. So Sonder is a short-term rental um, company that's been around for quite a while, 10 or 12 years. Um, they just announced another $10 million in funding. Um, and the article talks about their funding is to increase its liquidity. Um, and it's also talking about they're cutting back uh, some of their inventory. So their uh, 105 buildings that they're um, negotiating to give back some of those units, a couple thousand units um, where they previously already given back some units. So Sonder, a lot of things going on there. They've cut back some of their staff. They had a pretty big uh, corporate layoff recently on top of some layoffs they did a couple years ago. All these efforts or in you know, cost cutting efforts are to get Sonder cash flow positive this year. They've not turned a profit since they've been uh, in business. So this is really just continuing efforts to get cash flow positive. Um, and then the last article is about uh, Club Quarters announcing their um, intra entrance into the US. Uh, Rusk House is a service apartment uh, in Houston, Texas. Um, this will be interesting to see how that uh, takes off here in the US. But those are the articles that we have this week. If there's something that you'd like to see us talk about, love to hear that. So please uh, reach out to me. My contact information is here. You can leave comments in the, in the comment section here. If you haven't subscribed to our newsletter, our podcast, go ahead and do that. But that's what I see transitioning this week. Take care, everyone.